One of the most important and critical elements in Christian theology is atonement. Atonement refers to the covering over or removal of sin, and interestingly, more than half of the occurrences of the word atonement in Scripture are found in Leviticus chapter 16, which describes the Day of Atonement. This annual holy day celebrated the covering of national sins by the offering of two goats to God, one killed and the other driven into the wilderness. Indeed, once the sacrificial goat had been offered, the high priest laid his hands on the head of the live goat and confessed over him the sins of the people. The goat was then sent away into the wilderness, bearing away with it the sins of the people. That both of these goats anticipated and typified Jesus Christ's later passion is not a subject of debate among true Christian scholarship. In fact, it was the renowned Old Testament scholar Gleason Archer who declared that each sacrificial animal referred to in the Mosaic Law symbolized some aspect of Christ's atoning work. On this point, virtually all Christian scholars agree. However, where not all agree is in regard to the goat which the King James and New International versions of the Bible call the scapegoat. The Hebrew word is Azazel, but there is uncertainty regarding its meaning. As a result, various explanations have been put forward. Traditional expositors believe that Azazel should be taken as a proper name of the goat itself, meaning the goat that departs, hence the conventional rendering of scapegoat. However, some scholars believe this interpretation is incorrect, since the goat was released to or for Azazel in Leviticus 16.8. An alternative interpretation says that Azazel referred not to the goat, but instead designated the area to which the goat was released as a rugged or desolate place. Still, several scholars reject both of these interpretations because of the parallelism of Leviticus 16.8 which they say demands a personal name to be in opposition to the Lord. The verse reads, Then Aaron shall cast lots for the two goats, one lot for the Lord and the other lot for Azazel. Based on this, these scholars connect Azazel with some sort of a desert demon, in particular the leader of the demons. Support for this identification is found in the apocryphal book of one Enoch, where Azazel is the head of the rebel angels. Of course, this latter interpretation is not without challenges either. For example, one of the main objections with this view is that the scriptures clearly forbid sacrificing to demons. On the other hand, as one scholar points out, there is no hint of this goat being a sacrifice. This goat is not ritually slain, there are no rites with its blood, and it's not burned on an altar. Rather, it carries the sins of the congregation to Azazel and leaves them at their source.